Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are well. My name is Blessing. If you see me for the very first time, I am an agent. I process students admission and bring you all to North Cyprus to come and study. So if you have friends, brothers and sisters, or if you that is watching me, you want to study in North Cyprus, Feel free to contact me through the sticker that you're seeing on the screen. My email is there. My Instagram is there. Whichever medium that is convenient with you, just feel free to contact me and I'll process everything for you and you successfully arrive in North Cyprus. I also have some group of you asking me this specific question. Is admission still open? Yes admission for the fall semester is the open reason being that since after covid from 2022 the academic timetable has shifted a little bit okay so this semester is actually september slash october so students will still be arriving till october that is the reason why admission is still ongoing is still open so admission is still open so contact me if you want to study here in north cyprus and let's get into the body of so in today's video i'll be talking about the seasons we have here in north cyprus that is the weather season how is the climate how is the weather in north cyprus i know this is going to be very helpful and very very educative and precise so just get yourself a glass of water or a notebook so that you write all these things and keep for yourself okay so let's start with season number one so i will start by saying that we have two major seasons here in north cyprus but officially let's just say four but two significant changes there's two significant climate conditions which is the winter and the summer so we have this major two season the winter and the summer however we have spring we have autumn but this two, spring and autumn is basically the same thing is either you're transitioning from um, summer to winter or winter to summer this is spring and autumn is in between so however the major is the summer and the winter so let me now take it further or make it very very understandable by using the current weather condition climate that we are in this august so that you get to understand so currently now this august we're in summer so officially summer begins by may kinda so from may you should be expecting um the weather not being cold though sometimes in may it should be cold in the morning and cold in the night but not freezing because there's difference between freezing and cold okay so but i know everybody will say june is summer so yeah but again summer starts at least from that May second week third week the weather will begin to change that means it will be, begin to become warm but officially officially by June we enter the real summer when everything will start getting heated up <laughs> everywhere will start getting heated up it gets so hot so extremely hot that you can't even bear it. No, you can bear it actually. Human beings live here. I live here. But anyways, it gets very, very hot. Very, very hot. Even bush burning happens because of the weather. So what I'm trying to say is that summer starts by ending of May to now we're in August. We'll still be in summer till September. Okay? So let me just give you the gap from may second third week or ending till september ending we are in summer 
but the main main summer will be um june till august but then again i'm telling you cyprus weather from may and um september even the ending of september the weather will still be hot it will still be normal okay so this is for summer so now let's go over to winter so for winter winter starts by october and i will tell you why in cyprus we have our time change is either our time go forward or you go back so um, backward so i'll use for example now we are two hours ahead of Nigerian time. So, for example, if the time in North Cyprus is four o'clock, it will be two o'clock in Nigeria. However, when we get to October, I think the first Sunday or the last Sunday of October, I can't really remember now, but maybe I'll put it on the screen, maybe. But when we get to October, once the time change, that is the signal that the weather has changed that's shy so i'm saying this thing based on cyprus weather so october i think is and it always happens every sunday <laughs> funny enough but however the weather changes by the time goes backward now as we are coming from summer now to winter to go backward one hour okay then the weather will not change from October. So now you're going to be having this winter. Though October will not be freezing. It will just be cold in the morning and in the night. But afternoon will be still normal, moderate, autumn. Okay. Then um, November is just from October. The weather will just be graduated because it doesn't just move from summer and bam, winter. It transition that's when you have the autumn okay so um, November it still will be a little bit bearable okay and so as you guys as you guys can see um this is what I'm wearing sleeveless and everything but when you see when it's now winter you're not seeing things like this okay so October November November it's getting intense it's getting intense then december is already winter okay december is winter and i'm i'm kind of trying to figure out which one is cooler than which yeah well for some reason because i'm a christian okay so we go to church every 31st night that's crossover service 31st night it's so cold. 31st night it's so freezing. That as in <laughs> I don't want to go deep, but 31st night used to be very, very, very cold. Yes. So December, beginning of December will not be that cold, okay? But when you, you know enter 20 something and all it hey, so that become freezing and freezing and freezing. Then remember I said 31st is very cold. So if you're planning on going to church, crossover service and all those things, guide up very well because <laughs> it's gonna be cold, okay? So we now move over to the cream de la cream, which is, which is January, my brothers and my sisters. January, January is cold. January is the beginning of the cold. <laughs> it's a bit, it's that, what did I say? Scratch that. January is freezing. Not cold anymore. It's freezing. So, January is freezing. January. I believe January is the coolest. Okay. So, January is very, very cold. Very, very cold. Then, February. Um, the cold reduced more, but it's cold. I'm trying to, like... How do I put it? So what I'm trying to say is that um, the intensity. So but once you just enter this November ending to December, December is cold, like it increases, but 
um, January is the peak of it all. January is the peak of it all. Okay, then February is cold. <laughs> I just want to put things in perspective and I want to tell you some stories. You know, I like saying stories. So, January, know that very well. January is very cold. Then, February is also cold. February is also cold. Very cold. Okay, but January is more colder than February. Okay, then March, mm -hmm, the cold is reducing a bit, but it's still cold. But it's reducing, not to be compared to January. You cannot compare. Then April, the cold from March, March ending, the cold will not be reducing. Like the point is, the freezing will not be reducing to cold. It will not be reducing, okay? Because we are gradually entering spring to summer. Okay. April. April is said to be spring, but what happened this 2022? You know, the climate change and all what not that they've been saying in the world. So, what really happened this 2022 made April? change it is because normally in april now you'll be saying that in the morning and in the night it will be cold then afternoon will just be normal but this 2022 april was still cold so we don't know what will happen 2023 but anyways from april the freezingness will reduce it will become it will start becoming warm but april actually is said to be spring not summer anymore so just know that one then may may is now spring like the cold has reduced so it's just this it's not cold it's not hot uh -huh. it's not cold it's not hot so if you see now i have gone a round circle of how the weather is and i hope you get this into your mind okay all right so since my channel is a student channel for those of you that are about to come to Cyprus and all. I understand that my channel, you guys watching me as students and you'll be curious to know like what to expect based on when you're arriving. And like I always say, when you're watching my video, please check below and check the month and the date that I recorded this video so that you can understand better, okay? So, now let me talk about this um, fall semester, which is when I'm recording this video, it's August, August ending, so a few days to September. So, yeah, so for those of you that will be coming for this fall, that is September slash October, what should you be expecting and how should you prepare your um, luggage, your clothes, or when you come over here, what are the things that you should buy and all those things? Let's talk about it. So, like I said, September is still warm, okay? It's still warm. It's not cold. Until October, either first week or the last week, when the time changed. So, for you guys coming into North Cyprus, you students coming into North Cyprus for this fall semester, what I would say is that... Um, Come summer clothes, basically. Not all your luggage, but what you're wearing should be summer kind, yeah, because it's still warm, it's not cold, okay? However, as you digress, before you reach three months in North Cyprus, you begin to experience the cold. But one good thing is that why I like this semester is that you arrive the country when it's warm, at least. So, you gradually see the progression the way the weather will be changing and progressing like you'll be experiencing it so you'll be knowing how to transition so that's the good thing about this fall semester you will come when it's warm and gradually 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 but for i think people that will be arriving by october it will now become a little bit colder so you should come with your jacket just a normal jacket, not with 
yeah you can come with some wind even people arriving in september you can still come with some winter jacket in your luggage not wearing okay but what i'm trying to say how you should look you should look summerish there is no problem that the weather is still hot yeah the weather is still warm okay the weather is still warm just know that the weather is still warm so you as the weather condition that you're going to face when you arrive here is hot okay it's warm then like i said those of you that will come in october um this 2022 the cold everybody could testify so i don't know what is going to take on the lead how it took from the beginning of this year so but basically when it's october just a simple you can even shirt you can just wear a shirt on top and everything when you're traveling because maybe the weather will just be a little just a little nothing serious nothing that serious okay then as you graduate <laughs> as it progresses the weather will become cold and everything so just know that's this one then for those of you that will be arriving by february which is the winter season the winter semester which is February. Whew. It's it's funny because you know most of you are coming from Sahara region, that is from Africa, West Africa and everything. So it's hot. So it's so funny, like you're coming from a hot climate in the next six hours, seven hours, you arrive and the whole place is chilling and everything. So <laughs> yeah, but just know this. I'm gonna capitalize on this when is that time, but since we are in August and it's summer and everything, no problem. We don't need don't need all those stuff. But if you're coming for the February semester, which is the winter semester, so we call it spring, school call it spring, anyways. But there's nothing spring about it, it's winter. Anyways, if you're arriving for February semester, just know that it's winter. So you'll be gadging up from your home country. Probably you might not wear them, you can carry your jacket in your hand, but when you get to Istanbul, you start feeling the innuendo, <laughs> you start feeling the cold and all these things. So basically, this is what you should know about the weather and all. So for those of you coming this current semester, this September slash October semester, um I know you will have concerns. Should I buy some winter stuff when I'm coming? If you ask me, maybe I would just say just buy one. Because then again, you have to buy the jackets here. Though the cold in Cyprus is not that too serious like in Russia, that you have to buy Russia jackets, <laughs> Russia winter jacket or Canada winter jacket. Winter jacket has category that is great to it, okay. But anyways, I would advise you that if you're coming for this um, fall semester, you can just come with maybe one jacket, maybe one winter jacket. Then when you arrive here, you can now buy, okay. You can now buy because most of you guys, when you arrive, even now the shops. Shopping more and clothing, this thing, they, they are beginning to transition a little bit to more thicker clothes. You get. So, my point is that don't bother yourself buying winter clothes. Just come with your summer things. But if you have the winter things, you can come with it. But when you arrive here, as you progress from October, when the weather is changing now, you can now go to the stores and buy the sweaters, the everything that you want to buy, boots, and all those stuff. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But people that will come in by February, you have to come with all those things. At least one or two. So when you arrive here, you can now shop a lot. Okay? I believe this video was helpful. If you want to study here in North Cyprus, just kindly contact me through the social media platform that you're seeing on the screen. And also, like this video. Like this video. What are you waiting for? Just like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share it to your friends and family those that want to study here in North Cyprus okay thank you and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys